To get the full course on retouching techniques for every problem, just check the links in the description. And now, let's start our video. In this lesson, I will tell you how to enhance color of the eyes. I use the word enhance because I prefer to boast the natural color of the eyes instead of changing it. But this technique allows you not only to enhance the color, but also tell you how to change the color if that's what you want to do. So for me, the best technique for this will be hue saturation. Why again hue saturation? Because it allows you to work on a few different elements. It allows you to work on the saturation of the color and it allows you to manipulate the hue. So before we start, I usually go with the saturation very strongly. You can go to 100, it will look quite ugly. And maybe lightness a little bit up, so I can see the difference quite well. Then I'm going to invert this layer mask and I'm going to change the name to eye color. Then I'm going to choose a brush, of course, reset the color X for switching to white. And with white color of the brush, I'm going to paint inside the eye, just like this. So I can see how the color is changing. I can see clearly which area I'm affecting right now. So carefully here and then the other eye also carefully or around where the eye color exists. So on the top there is not much of it, but just like this. I got a little too far here, so I'm going to switch to color black and paint over here. And then I'm going to go back to hue saturation. And of course, I don't want such a strong saturation, but I might want to manipulate with this. So I'm going to go back to zero with every aspect. And the natural eye color here is blue, maybe a little bit gray. So I would like to work more likely with this blue shade over here. So now again, I'm going to go up a little bit with the saturation to the level I can see small difference. And then I'm going to manipulate with the hue to see if I can improve the natural blue color that is already there. And as you can see, if I want to go with natural green, natural cyan, it's also existing there. And I feel I found kind of blue around here, strong blue color. And this is what I'm going to choose. So before and after, as you can see, I busted the natural blue color in this case. So if we don't want to affect the light, we can always change the blending mode normal to color just in case to preserve and often I'm satisfied with the first effect I created here. If you want to go further with the color, of course there is some more ways of work, how you like uh, to do them. So you can use hue saturation once again, or you can use any other tool. It could be color balance. So if we would be going with hue saturation, you can just press command or control, hit on the eyes. And then with hue saturation, you can choose colorize and then choose the very specific color of the eyes you want to apply here. And also you can choose the saturation. If the effect is too strong, I would recommend to lower the opacity and then I can connect the two effects that I had here. So natural improvement from the previous layer and then the color improvement on the new layer. And this is one of the best way how I like to work. Uh, don't hesitate 
to create some more layers. Of course, you can do the same thing even using curve adjustment layer because you can work with the colors there. But of course, always pay attention to the mask. I see I still need to correct some of the things since I did not cover the area here well and on the other side here and the same on the layer below as you can see more saturation and that's it so this is very strong effect and not necessarily fully natural but it's for the presentation purposes so you can see clearly how easy you can change or enhance color of the eyes.